Good morning everyone. So today, um, last day of my day off. Then tomorrow I'll be working three days straight again. Ngayon, kagagaling ko lang nagsimba yung anak ko sa school nila every Thursday. May mass sila. So every other Thursday, um, nakakapag um, aten ako ng mass. So today, I'm going to the grocery pero maglilista muna ako kung anong bibilhin ko para kung hindi naman kung ano-ano naman ma bibili ko. So, I'm trying to do meal preparation today if makaya sa oras. Usually, yung mga niluluto ko, nakikita ko lang sa TikTok. So, what I'm gonna do today, make my list and then go to Walmart. I'm done doing my list. So, tatlong ulam yung lulutuin ko ngayon. So, yeah, I'm going to Walmart now. Um, temperature namin dito ngayon sa Mississippi, it's 57 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, malamig yung hangin, pero yun, ma maaraw. Um, so, nandito na ako sa bahay. Um, magluluto lang ako ng um, ulam namin. Magsitry ako mag meal prep kung makaya ba. Chicken and then carbonara. Else, may ulam pa naman kami um, sobra kahapon. So, tinabi ko. So, it's gonna be our meal for maybe the next three days. Um, hindi magsawa. <laughs> this one, kung tinatamad si John magluto at ready na nga pagkain na, initin na lang. Minsan ginagawa ko to, minsan hindi. Kasi minsan nakakatamad din. Especially kung sobrang busy yung previous duty ko, uh, hindi ko masyadong, hindi ko magawa kasi parang yung katawan ko nagre-recover sa duty. Ay, yung niluto ko ngayon is Mary Me Chicken. And then, magluluto din ako ng um, carbonara kasi request ng anak namin. So, may energy ako ngayon mag meal prep. And yung uh, Mary Me Chicken pala, lutuin ko siya sa crock pot, uh, slow cook. Diyan. Pinainit ko muna. So, yun. Sarap sana na may kasama sa bahay na helper na matutulong sa'yo sa mga ganito. Pero, wala eh. <laughs> Kaya, sariling sikap. Dito lang nga din ako sa US natutong talaga magluto. Na, hindi naman matuto yung parang gusto na magluto kasi no choice. Ayaw ko naman na kain ng kain kami sa labas kasi iba pa rin yung lutong bahay. Tapusin ko muna to. So I'm almost done with cooking. Um, the, this is the Mary Me Chicken Pesto flavor. Dati um, tomato sauce yung ginamit ko ngayon pesto. Uh, hindi ko alam kung masarap. Pero feeling ko naman masarap. Mabango. Tapos ito, um, ang batawo dun? Lagyan ko yun ng noodles, pero ginaya ko din yung, ano, yung sa TikTok. Honey garlic chicken noodles. So, honey garlic chicken noodles. So, lagyan ko ng chicken. Ito yung lunch ko ngayon. Pork Shanghai. And then, yung request ng anak ko, carbonara. So, yan. Um, pwede na yan. Initin niya bukas kung gusto niya. So, I'm almost done with cooking and then I'm gonna do that video later. Hey 
Hello everyone! So for today's video, I'll be sharing about our monthly expenses here in Mississippi. So we live in the suburban area of Mississippi. Jackson is the capital city. So there's a difference between living in a bigger city and living in the suburban area. There's also a difference if you're living in the southern part of the United States and if you're living in the northern part. First, I'll be discussing our apartment expenses. For the rest, we are paying $995 per month. This is a two bedroom, two baths apartment. Then next will be the renter's insurance. Ni require ng management if you are renting to have a renter's insurance. So our renter's insurance cost is $18 per month. Then next will be the utilities. So for the utilities, kasama na yung sewage, pag collect ng trash, yung pag palit ng filter ng AC, yung hot water. So we are paying $60 per month. Then um our furnitures. So, yung furnitures namin, binili namin siya, siya sa isang furniture shop dito sa Mississippi. So, we bought a dining set, sala set, or sofa set, then the two mattresses. So, pag first time buyer ka dito sa US, I don't know if it applies to all, but for us, wala kami interest na binabayaran sa mga furnitures namin. Um, for the furnitures, we are paying $156. That's a uh, three year to pay. Then the electricity. So the electricity bill varies every month uh, or also varies every season. So last month, uh, winter season, mas malaki yung bill namin kasi lagi kami gumagamit ng heater. And then ngayon na spring na, mababa na siya kasi minsan lang kami gumagamit. And depende din yun kung gano kami madalas magluto dito sa apartment. But yung range ng um, electricity namin is around $150 to $160 per month. Next, monthly expenses. So we have two cars. Um, a sedan and a subcompact SUV. So for the sedan, for the mortgage, you are paying $349 for the sedan. And uh, for the subcompact SUV, we are paying $552 per month. Nakuha namin yung dalawang sasakyan sa isang credit union dito sa US. And yung mga gastusin sa sasakyan, may gas. So yung gas namin, nag-range siya $100 to $120 per month. So ako yung madalas na nagpapagas kasi ako yung malayo yung pinagtatrabuhuan. So, I work 72 miles back and forth na yon Si John, dito lang sa um, within the city lang siya ang tatrabaho. Bihira lang siya nagpapagas. And yung gas dito sa area namin is $2.95 per gallon. So, of course, it varies every state. May ibang state na mas mahal. But dito sa tinitirahan namin kung saan kami ngayon, it's $2.95 per gallon. Then, next is our car insurance. So, for the car insurance, uh, kung napanood nyo yung previous video ni Jan, nakatipid kami sa car insurance. Um, dati kasi, nagbabayad kami last year lang. Nagbayad kami ng um, around 200 plus for our two cars. But ngayon, it's $117 for the two cars na. So, malaking diferensya sa rate. So, nakatipid kami ng around $100 sa car insurance namin. Then, next is car wash. So, every car wash is uh, $15. Walang bayad dito yung pag-vacuum. Kasi alam ko dun sa Canada may bayad yung kung gagamit ka ng vacuum. So, dito wala. So, dito is $15. Pero depende yon kung gano'ng kami kadalas magpalinis. Si Jan yung lagi nagpapalinis. Ako bihira lang. Siguro twice a month ako na papalilis ng sasakyan. So but it um range around 30 to 40 dollars per month for the car wash. Next for expenses sa car is the car service or the car maintenance. So yung dalawang sasakyan namin is brand new yung dalawa. So every 5000 miles pinapa-service namin. So depende yun kung anong gagawin nila uh, on that day. So like last month yung nabayaran ko for the car service is um 30 dollars. But ngayon uh, wala ako mababayaran ngayon naman kasi hindi pa umabot ng uh, 5,000 miles yung, yung mileage. 
So, yun ang mga expenses sa dalawang cars namin. Next is the phones. So, we have two phones. Kasama na yung line. So, it's a unlimited text, call, and Wi-Fi. We are paying $151 for the two phones. And then, yung home Wi-Fi namin, unlimited internet then We are paying $70. Um, that's per month. The next is our gadgets. So, kasama itong camera na ginagamit ko ngayon. Um, we have two cameras. Um, the laptop, my son's iPad, the PC. So, we are paying $190 for all the gadgets per month. So, yung mga gadgets pala namin, kinu kinuha namin sa Best Buy. Kasi sila yung may zero interest. So, lahat ng gadgets na kinuha namin, lahat to ay um, zero interest rate. Then next is our groceries. So for our grocery, it varies. So we are a family of three. So depende yun if ilan kayo sa pamilya, but sa amin is uh, we are a family of three. So yung grocery namin, nag-range siya around 700 to 800 per month. So depende yun every month yung grocery namin. So next is our son's tuition fee. So our son goes to a Catholic school here in Mississippi. It's a private school. Pinasok namin siya isa, sa isang Catholic school kasi kami dalawa ng asawa ko nanggaling din sa isang Catholic school sa Philippines. So for his tuition fee, we are paying $610. Kasama na yung lunch, snack, and after-hour care. Yung after-hour care pala is $100 per month. May option kami na hindi namin kukunin yung after-hour. Pero kasi may time na kami dalawa may pasok kami during the weekdays. So, kinuha namin yung after-hour. Kaya naging $600 yung uh, tuition fee namin. Kasi kung hindi namin kukunin, around $500 lang yung tuition fee ng anak ko. Then, next is our subscriptions. So, yung subscription namin, fix yun monthly, is around $30 per month. Then, yung subscription namin is the Apple storage, Google storage, the radio sa car. Kasi, sumuscribe kami sa isang radio channel dito sa US. Kasi, pag mag-road trip kami, may papakinggan kami na music. So, yun. And then, the ink for the printer and then the yung mga movies so that's around $30 per month so that yung total monthly expenses namin dito sa Mississippi for a family of 3 nagrange siya around 3600 to 4300 per month so it varies yan kasi sa groceries um, like I said, it differs if you live in a um, bigger city, but we live in a suburban area and we live in the southern part also in the United States. So, medyo mas uh, mababa yung cost of living. If you live north, if you live in a bigger city, so it differs. So, if you're coming here in the United States and you're living in the southern part and in a suburban area, I think that will be your range. Depende yun kung may mga additional na mga um, subscription kayo or mga additional na expenses. So yeah, I hope you learned something from this video. Yeah, we are glad that we were able to share our monthly expenses to give you an idea on what will be the cost of living here in the southern part of the United States. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions, just comment in the comment box below and we'll try to answer as much as we can. And Thank you so much for watching. God bless and I hope you give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Bye.